four between negative one and two. All right, first the y y intercept four. I say here it is my four. All right, four is there. Okay, here's my four y intercept, and then I have what value of x do I have to put into here? It's such that this thing is zero. Well, if I put in negative two, then everything becomes zero, right? So negative two. So negative two is somewhere here. Okay? And my graph looks something like this. Right? This is a straight line. Now, I have a restricted domain too. The restricted domain says my x must be larger than one. Negative one, sorry. Negative one. Da, 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 da. But this is not inclusive, so it's an open circle. So everything else before that is not needed. An open circle. So it's an open circle that goes up, and then it stops at two, and it stops here. Right. It passes through this. Right. So this is my graph, and this is y of negative one, and here is y of two. So here it's easy to see the maximum value. The maximum value here is y of 2. And in this case is 2 times 2 plus 4 or 8. And minimum value. Actually, this is not quite minimum, right? That is, it's bounded by this value because this is not included, okay? Bounded by upper bound. This is my upper bound because this is not included. And the lower bound is y of negative 1, which is 2 times negative 1 plus 4. Like 2 times negative 1 over here. So this is the lower bound. So it's negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So in this particular case, my range is right, limited by these two numbers. They're not actually there. So it is uh, 2, y. y is greater than 2, but y is also less than 8. So that's my range. And here we need to find the largest and smallest value for y of 3x plus 1 for x between 1 and 3. So first of all, identify the y intercept. 1 here is 1. And this is uh, going to go up. And uh, what it says is that for every unit, uh, and the next is that what value of x do I have to put into here such that this y becomes zero? So I need to put in negative one third, for example. Right. So my graph goes like this. Right. It's not very good. And where do I stop? It stop at negative one. Right. It stop at negative one. There's a black dot here. So inclusive is a black dot. Open circle means it's not included. And it stops here. This is not to scale. And here is 3, for example. Right. So what's this value here? This is y of 1. And here is 3 and y of 3. Right? y of 3 is now that. So obviously, in this case, it's easy to see the maximum value. In this case, is y of 3. And y of 3 is 3 times 3 plus 1, which is 10. And minimum value is y of negative 1, which is 3 times negative 1 plus 1, which is uh, negative 2. So the minimum value for this function, the smallest value is negative 2, the largest value is 10. Now from here, if you are asking for the range of a restricted domain of a linear function, how would you come up with, uh, what do you observe, right? Can you write a summary to identify the maximum and, and the minimum value uh, of a linear function with restricted domain and then come up with this range for this restricted domain? Thank you.